All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add more pages and play around with your theme for your, your site. So um, let's look at themes first. So on this, uh, this little panel over here, I can click on themes. And I can change the look and feel of my website with these different themes that they give you on the side. And it also allows you to change out some of the colors. So if I want that line there to be blue and that kind of might be kind of cool to have those together or I can keep on playing with the different things. If I don't like the fonts that they're showing, and I'll just pick a different theme that's a little bit more, I can also change the font style based upon some pretty straightforward little buttons. It's, it's simple and it gets the job done. All right. So I've got a, th a, I can play around my themes. It doesn't give me that much flexibility, but it gives me some, All right? Um, but now I might want some sub pages. I just have my welcome page here. It doesn't really have a whole lot of information, but your welcome page might have things for your course uh, in your classroom. It might have how to contact you. It might have um, uh, your syllabus for your, for your course. It might be some web links, All right? Um, if I click on the pages button up here at the top, I can add more things to this thing other than just having a home. So I can just click on the add a page button. And it gives me an option for a new page. So I might just call this um, all right, I might just call that tech issues. Um, and I might make, make another one. I might just call this Chromebook. I might make this iPad or iPhone. All right. And now these are some different things that I could put in here, but they're both tech. These might be issues around tech issues. So I can make these a sub page of the tech issues page. So now when I go up here, I get a menu. Here's my home. Here's a, uh, here's the tech issues, uh, issues menu, but then I get multiple pages that I can navigate through. So now I have sub pages and I can get moving. All right. So <clears throat> I can still go back in and add things in like I did in the previous vi video. Some of the things I didn't actually mention is how do I insert other stuff? So I can insert objects from Drive. I can insert videos that I've created in uh, from Google Drive, or I can also insert uh, things from YouTube. So let's just say I have a um, <clears throat> a, a, a video here. Uh, well, here's one that I, I made about um, the phone. So I can click on that one and hit insert, and it makes a little pre play window for that video I made earlier. Um, so I might actually t uh, delete that uh, that thing, and I'm going to go back into my pages. I can add in. All right, so I'm going to make another little sub page here and add that in. Um, so we've got the, our little short telephones. I made a video clip about that this morning. So I can insert from Drive here or I could insert from the other side and I click on the video and I can hit insert and it puts it there. I can scale that video out so it takes up more space on the page. I can move it down. All right. I can double click in between things and I can add in a text bo uh, box. Oops, that moved around so I can just place it wherever I want it to, want it to be. I can click in here. Now, I have that showing up as normal text, but I could actually make that a heading so it's easier for, for people that are watching, uh, trying to watch my video, what that actually is, or look, sorry, not watch my video, but look at my website. If they're looking at the code, the heading will show me what that actually is. The more headings I have, it's just kind of like making a paragraph on a, uh, in a, a paper. A heading is kind of like, this is my topic. So every time I want to change that thought, I want to put a new heading in. All right. So there is my quick 
how do I add in headings? How do I add things in? Uh, how do I add in navigation? Um, I can also go back into my insert menu. There are a lot of other options in here that I can add in, like Google Slides, Google Sheets, charts. Um, they're actually all really simple to use. If I click on, I want to add in a map, I could say, all right, I want a map of Wapaka. All right, so what if I, I'm going to go back to my welcome page. And I go down to the bottom here and I click on insert and map and I'll select that one. So now I have a map of Wapaka on my web page. And I can make that however big I want it to be. All right. Um, and it gives me an option to bump that out into a larger map. So there's all kinds of things in here. These just take a little bit of experimentation, but you can put a full Google Doc in there. So anytime you make a change to that Google Doc, it is changed on your website. You can add in slides. Anytime you make a, a change to a slide, it will put it right on your website. Um, so they're embedded directly into your page. Uh, same thing with Google Sheets, forms. So if you want to collect some data from your students or people on your website, you can put a form in there that would give you that, that option as well. All right, so things to think about there. There's lots of diff different things you can insert. All right, I'm going to do another one, another video in a second about our published settings. So hang on tight.